we are going to be laying on it in different directions. If it feels hard on your back, you can cover it, use a towel, a blanket, soften it up a little bit. If you have an extra yoga mat, that would be softer. It's a circle. You could try that. This one shorter, which means I'm going to use my block for my head because I don't like to let my head hang back. But we're going to start uh, child's pose. We'll get everything moving some. We'll bring in the foam roller a little bit later when we get into the core work. Child's pose is where we're going to start. Maybe lift your elbows off the floor. Big inhale into your back rib cage. Walk your hands to one side, side stretch, lengthen down the side of your body. Walk your hands to the other side. Return to center. Make any little changes, stretches, moves that you need here. Slide to your hands and knees. Take a cow cat once you get there. Here's the movement to your spine. Make it feel good. You might have a big one. You might have small ones. Wherever it works for you is where you take it. Finish this one, bring yourself to center. Hand goes behind your head. We are going to add elbow to the ceiling, elbow to the floor. Inhale up, exhale down. Now this is mobility for your upper back. You can make these big or small. Try to keep your hips still and move through the upper back area. Thread the needle here, slide your arm under. And can go up towards the front, relax your shoulder, give yourself a stretch. Return to your hands and knees, take the twist on the other side. Opposite hand comes behind. Lift the elbow, release the elbow. Here's your up and your down. Inhale up, exhale down. Two more times. We thread the needle this time. Slide the arm under. Hold it here wherever it works for you, giving yourself a stretch. Bring yourself to your hands and knees. Set yourself up, one foot goes behind, foot is on the floor, press the heel away, stretch through the lower leg. Lift the leg to hip height, circle the ankle, Change direction. Bend your knee, take your leg up and around for your hip circle. Up and around. Change direction. Slide your leg out to the side. Inner thigh, hip stretch here. Little rocks back and forth, getting movement through your hips, inner thigh. Gentle rock back and bring it forth. Finish this one. Slide your leg in. Reset, other side. Foot goes out behind. Press the heel away. Center yourself, lift the leg, add ankle circles. Change direction. Bend the knee, hip circles here, knee comes in and around. 
in and around. Switch directions, circle it in the other direction. Leg goes out to the side. Hip rocks, slide back and forth. Small little rocks. Finish this one. Leg can come in. Take yourself down to your forearms. Press your forearms into the mat. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, dolphin, or you stay on your knees, giving yourself strengthening through your shoulders. Maybe you walk your feet in a little, maybe not. Hold it here, take one more breath. Knees come down, arms sweep back by your side. Give your shoulders a little break. Big inhale. Sphinx pose from here. Hands go out towards the front. You're down on your forearms. You can walk your feet away. Give yourself a stretch. Top of the head to your toes, lengthening here. Release yourself down. Take your hands under your forehead. We're going to do some upper back lifts. Forehead down, ground your feet, but lift your kneecaps. Add a lift and a lower. A little lift. And lower, first think, lengthen, reach through the top of your head. It doesn't have to be big. We're trying to work on some strength here. Three more. It's three, two. Locust, sweep your hands by your side. Legs come up. Reach your toes. Cobra, hands by your rib cage. Bring yourself up wherever it feels good. Little turn of your head side to side. Release down. One more time, the hands are coming underneath your head. We are adding a little bit of a side bend, so your feet press down, kneecaps come up. You add a little lift and then a little side bend to one side, side bend to the other side. We'll do four, three, two, locust here, sweep your hands back, legs can come up, hold it here, hands by your rib cage, cobra. Bring yourself up and take this stretch wherever it feels good for you. Bring yourself down, press back, cow cat or child's pose. I'm going into child's pose. You're gonna pick whatever works for you. Wherever you are, give yourself some wrist circles. We're gonna start doing some work on our hands and knees. I am gonna use the foam roller for this. Loosen up your wrists, give yourself a stretch, try to relax the upper body. Bring yourself up to your hands and knees. Grab your foam roller. Now this is always optional. We do these without the foam roller, but we're gonna add this toy in today. Hands are gonna be on your foam roller. Set your lower body up. We'll start by lifting one arm out in front. I just want you to hold it. So think core, level the hips, engage the core, hold it here. Relax the arm down. Here comes the other side. Arm goes out on the other side. Engage the core. Focus on your breath. Hold it here. Remember, this is core, so zip it up. Relax 
the arm down. Here we go. You're going to lift one leg up behind. So think half plank. You're going to lift one, I should say, lift a knee. Toes are down. We're going into a full plank here. Hands are on your foam roller. Hold your plank. We're staying 15 seconds in your plank. Five, four, three, two. Knees come down. We come back to extending one arm out in front. Center yourself. Arm goes out. There's your hold. Take the opposite leg up behind you. We balance here. Hold it. One more breath. Release your arm and leg. Here's the other side. Arm goes up. Engage the core. Next option, leg goes out behind, opposite arm, opposite leg. Hold it here. Arm and leg come down. We return to plank. One leg goes out behind, the other leg goes out behind, and we hold our plank 15 seconds. Almost there, hang in there. There's five, four, three, two. Knees can come down. Take a child's pose, wherever that feels good for you. Stretch it out. Maybe you add wrist circles, whatever feels right. Set your foam roller to the side. Here is your downward dog. Ground your hands. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. There's your stretch in your downward dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Gently roll yourself up. One vertebra at a time. Once you get there, a little shoulder roll up. Back and down. We're going to do some balance work. Now, my foam roller is shorter, so it doesn't work for me. But if you have a taller foam roller, you can use that for balance. We are doing balance work today. Or have your chair or wall nearby if you want to use it. Heel lifts are first. We're going to lift our heels. Pause on our toes. Slowly, the heels go to the floor. And we do it again. We lift our heels, pause at the top, hold it. Heels come down with control. Do that again. We lift up, pause at the top. Heels go down slowly. We have one more to go here. Heels go up. Pause at the top. Heels go down, step your feet out wide, side lunges, take it to one side, take it to the other side, little side to side. One more time on each side. Take a stretch in the middle, a little forward fold here, wherever it feels good, big or small. Bring yourself up. And today we're going to do a knee lift and we're going into a side lunge. So from here, you're going to bring your knee up. You might take a tap. There is your knee lift. And now you're going to step out wide to your side lunge. Center, here comes the opposite knee. You're going to have to push, bring yourself up. Stand up tall, hold your balance. Side lunge, take the leg out. And then we have the other leg. You bring it up. There is a knee lift. Hold it here. Stand up tall. Side lunge. Take it down. And then you have knee lift. Other side. 
It's your mailies. Bring it up. <laughs> there we go. Side lunge, step it out. We'll do that one more time on each side. Here's that knee left. Push off, find your balance. Use your core to get there. Side lunge, step out. Here comes the knee lift. Bring it up. Hold it here. Side lunge, here's that big step. And then bring yourself up. You can take it all the way in. Shake it out. We are gonna practice our warrior three. Like I said, if you wanna use a foam roller, we're gonna be taking our leg up behind us. Choose whatever foot you want to start with. And when you're ready, here we go. You're going to push one foot behind. Coming into your warrior three, single-legged deadlift. Try to level the hips. So we usually pop our top leg up. Try to get that hip bone towards the floor. We're holding it just a little bit longer today. Five, four, Three, two, bring yourself up. We get ready, take it to the other side. Ground the foot. When you're ready, there's that reach back behind. And then you check your hip bone. Drop it down so it's level to the floor. You can have softness in your front knee. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, bring yourself up, take some hip circles here. Hips go around in one direction, hips go around in the other direction. I'm doing some leg strengthening while we're standing today. We're gonna do our leg raises from a standing position. So if you have your foam roller, hold on to it. If you wanna use a wall, go for it. If you're working on balance and you wanna do it without, do that version. You're going to take your right toes out to the front and we're going to lift and lower. So we usually do this sometimes laying down, sometimes in a seated position. Today I want you to do it while you're standing. Use the quadricep. Lift and lower. Lift, lower. Here's five, four, Three, two, you're gonna hold this one up. Keep it up right here. And there's your little pulse and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Set it down, shake it out, give it a nice little shake, 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 shake. And now you know it's coming on the other side. Find your balance, toes can come out to the front. And then when you're ready, you lift the leg, you tap it down. Lift and lower. There's your up and down, up and down. So really focus, you lift with the front of the thigh. That means your knee is going towards the ceiling. Four, three, Two, we hold this one up. There's that little pulse and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Foot comes down. Give yourself a quadricep stretch. I'm going to bring my heel behind. Stretch out the front of the thigh, the front of the hip. Relax. This side, take it to the other side. There's this stretch down the front of the thigh. We're going to catch our hamstrings here. I'm going to this side. We're going to keep our legs straight. I do have a little lean forward. And you're going to lift the leg, tap it down. Now make sure, pull the core in. We don't want to feel this in our low back. This is about lifting with the hamstring and the glute. Here's your six. And again, if you want to use the wall, five, four, three, two. Keep 
this one up right here. Add your little pulse and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Give yourself a little shake, 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 shake. Here comes the other side. Set yourself up. Little lean forward if you need it. And there's that lift. So remember, this is about the leg. If you're feeling it in your low back, you're probably arching and trying to lift with your low back instead of with your hamstring or your butt. So there's your lift and lower. We have six, five, four, three, two. This is the one we keep up. Keep it up right here. Add your little pulse and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, shake it out, add some leg swings. So we're gonna do little leg swings, loosen it up. Just gentle, we don't wanna pull anything, tweak anything, it's just loosen up the hips a little bit. Here comes the other side. Once you're there, there's your little swing, 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 swing. I do want to catch our outer hip inner thigh out, which means we're lifting our leg to the side and bringing it across the front. Again, hold on to something if you want to work on, if you want to focus more, you're going to lift out to the side, squeeze it across. Resist out, squeeze across. So now you're focused. Outer hip, inner thigh. Outer hip, inner thigh. There's your out and across. Here's five, four, three, two. You're keeping this one out. Hold it out. Point your toes. Add a little circle, circle, circle. Change direction. Take it around. Squeeze the leg across the front. Take it across. And then go ahead, relax it, shake it out, and we get ready to take it to the other side. Find your balance, use the wall, whatever works for you. Leg goes out to the side, leg squeezes across the front. Resist out, squeeze across. Out and across, out and across. There's five. Four, three, two. Keep this one out. Point the toes. Add your circle, 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 circle. Change direction. Squeeze the leg across one more time. There's your squeeze. And then take your circles around here. Loosen up your hips. Take it around. Take it in the other direction. Take it around, take it around. Now we're gonna get ready to roll down to the floor. When we get there today, I'm taking us into a great big stretch. I am going to have my block ready. This is where we do that low lunge, adding a twist. So first you're gonna roll down into your inchworm. Once you're there and you're in your plank, we're gonna add our stretch. Chin to chest here. Soften the knees, bring yourself down. There's the walk out. There comes your plank. So we all meet in our plank. Bring your knees to the mat. Bring your right leg forward. Here's your lunge. We're taking it into a big stretch. Your fingertips are going up. Stretching the front of the thigh right here. Now your hand is coming to your block. You don't have to use a block. I did it the other day without the block, but sometimes the extra height is nice. Remember, you can also change the height of your block if you want it a little higher. Add a twist. Open up a little bit more. Feel the stretch. Relax your arm down. Back knee comes down. And then we switch to the other side so we can get the lunge first. 
open up right here through the hip. Fingertips go up, give yourself a big stretch. Hand is coming down to the block. I did put mine at a medium height today. You can keep it low, you can skip it, whatever works for you. Twist when you're ready, if you choose. Bring the hand down, relax the knee down. We're gonna bring ourselves all the way through to a seated position. Bring yourself through. Here comes your foam roller. I'm keeping my block nearby because I am going to have to use mine for my head because my foam roller is shorter. But we're going to start with our foam roller going across our mat with our feet on the roller. You're going to carefully bring yourself down. We're taking some bridges. That's where we're going to start with the feet on the foam roller. Again, if you don't like it and you don't want to do it, skip it. Arms are by your side. Lift your hips up for your bridge. Little pause at the top here. Gently bring your hips down. We do it again. Now right here, keep in mind, if it bothers your knees, you need to adjust where your foam roller is. It might need to come closer, but it might need to go further away. And yes, when you do that, it changes where you feel the which muscles are working in the back of the body. Hips come down. We have two more to go here. You're lifting your hips up. You pause at the top. Little pause and hold. Hips come down. We do it again. Lift your hips. Pause at the top. Hips come down. And now you can take the legs out straight, but keep your ankle on the foam roll. So now my legs are out straight. I have my ankle on the foam roller. And we're gonna do leg circles. One leg comes up, the other one is resting on your foam roller. Take circles on the ceiling, and now you think stability. You take it around and around. Change direction, take it around in the opposite direction. Big or small. Remember, nothing moves except for this leg on the ceiling. Relax this leg down. Here comes the other side. Leg goes up, add your circle around. So before you ever start, you have to zip up, shoulders ground it, deep core work. That's what leg circles get deep into the core, change direction, take it around and around. One more time, bring the leg down, return to the bridge. Feet are gonna come back onto your foam roller wherever it works for you, or you skip it. Lift your hips, hold your bridge. Extend the tailbone away. Hips go down. We do it again, three more. We lift, we hold it, hold it up. Hips slide down, and we go back up. Here we go. Lift it up. Pause at the top. Hips go down. And one more time. Hips go up. Hold it at the top. Lower your hips down. Windshield wiper here, give your hips a little break. Take your legs side to side, wherever it feels good for you. From here, you're going to roll the foam roller up. So same direction, but now it's going to be underneath your hips. So now you're gonna have the foam roller supporting your hips as you take it here. 
We'll start. So you get a feel of this. Arms are down. We're going to just start by marching your legs. Think lift a knee, tap it down, lift a knee, tap it down. So right here, you're trying to stay stable. You have the zip of the core. Rib cage is in. And we march. There's your little march. And march. There's four. Three, two, now both your legs go up. We're gonna take our toes up towards the ceiling. Maybe you start with the knee bend, then your toes are up. Engage a core, single leg drop. You're gonna drop one leg down, bring it up, switch sides. So now you're doing single leg scissors right here. Take it down, bring it up. Take it down, bring it up. So you have single leg scissors as you drop, lift. One leg, one leg. Here's your four, three, two. Both your legs stay up here. Keep your toes up. Take your heels together. We're going to do some frog moves. So think feet together, think butterfly bounding, legs come down, they open, and then you press it up. So you're doing your butterfly, heels come down, heels go up. Here's your down and your up. It's your down and up. Five more here. Here's five, four, three, two, and one more time. And then bring your feet down to the floor. Maybe you take a little windshield wiper side to side, whatever feels good. We're gonna gently release the foam roller from under your hips. We're gonna now switch the foam roller so it's going the long way. So now I need to switch mine up and it'll just take me a minute because I need to get my block set up where it works for me as well. So if you have one long foam roller, makes it a little easier. You just make sure your tailbone to the top of your head is on the mat. I need to make sure I'm all set up so everything is in the right spot. Now, I also have my block at the medium height versus lower. That's gonna be up to you how you have yours. And then we're gonna start, keep your feet down on the floor. We're gonna focus on the upper body here. We're gonna take our hands by the side. And then you're going to take both your arms, fingertips up towards the ceiling, and then fingertips towards the floor, or towards the wall away from you. So first we're gonna do just our arms. I want you to get the stability here. Now our feet are down, let's try to stay soft and really focus on the core. We'll do two more like this. Fingertips to the ceiling, fingertips towards the wall, now on the next one, one arm at a time. So you're lifting one arm and then the other arm. So you're doing one arm at a time. And again, you wanna stay soft on your feet and I want you to focus on core stability here. Four more. Here's your four. It's three. Two. Now on this next one, keep your hands by your side and it's all the way over. So now you're going to take your hands, reach them overhead. And what you want to pay attention to, that neutral spine. So you're staying stable as the fingertips go over and you bring it back. So this is bringing in more core because you're going to stabilize through your core as you lift your arms up and over. 
Exhale with the most effort. Four more. Here's four. It's three. Two. One more time. We meet with our fingertips up towards the ceiling. You can have your palms face each other. Open one arm to the side, bring it up, and now the other arm to the side, and bring it up. So we're alternating. One arm opens, and now you're working on staying centered, right? We can feel that little off set each time we open to the side. Engage your core a little bit more. Next one, both your arms open together. Four of these, bring it up. Three, bring it up. Two, one more time. Fingertips stay to the ceiling. And we're gonna hug our foam roller with our shoulder blades. So slide your shoulder blades down to hug your foam roller, and then lift your shoulder blades up and away. Hug the foam roller and lift up. So we're working on shoulder mobility. This is protraction and retraction. We're keeping that mobility through our upper back, through our shoulders. Here's four. Three, two, one more time. And now you're gonna bring your arms by your side and we're gonna march our feet. So you're gonna find your balance, lift a leg, tap it down, upper body's gonna relax and you are focusing on the lower body. Now remember, fingertips stay soft on the mat. And we're really focused. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. There's four, three, two. Both your knees are up right here. Bring your knees up. Hold it here. And now we tap down. There's the tap with the foot down, bring it up, tap, and bring it up. Here's four, three, two. You should feel good core work here. Both your feet can come down to the floor. They're soft. Classic crunch. Take your hands behind your head. Add a crunch. Release down. Add a crunch. Release down. Up. Exhale, lift. Four more. Here's four. Three. Two, we're going into obliques. You can take one hand on the floor, and there it comes. Knee, shoulder cross, tap down, stay on this side. Knee, tap down. I'm lifting my shoulder blade up and release. There's your up, release. Up. Release, three more. It's three, it's your two. Finish this one, we take it to the other side. Opposite hand comes behind, now you're soft on the fingertips on the other side. We don't wanna use all the weight, we really wanna balance using our core. Shoulder blade across, Tap it down, lift and lower. Four, 
three, two. Now finish this one, keep the foot down, open your arms to the side, open your chest. We're gonna relax everything here. Use this as a good chest opener. If you need to take more of a arms up, wherever it works to get a really nice opening through the chest. Take one more breath here and we very carefully roll it off the foam roller. Be careful here, take your time. And then once you're there, we'll bring ourselves up into a seated position. You are going to take a little forward fold or if there's any other move that you need for your back after being on the foam roller, take it. You would drop the chin, roam through the spine. Bring yourself up. We're adding some twists here. Take your feet about the width of your mat. Arms are coming in the front. It's a little twist for the upper back. So after laying on the foam roller for a while, we want to add little stretching here, moving rotation. There's your four, three, two, one more time. You can relax your arms. We are gonna do this saw, but we're gonna do this saw holding your foam roller. So again, this if you have your longer one, your hands are further out, mine is shorter. So right here, you're gonna take it and you're gonna reach towards your toe, bring it up other side. So think of your saw, it's your reach and bring it up. Now what we wanna do, keep both of your butt cheeks down on the floor as you bring it up and over. We'll do four more here. There's your four. Here's your three. It's your two. And one more time, return to your forward fold. You can go ahead, stretch wherever it feels good for you. And again, bend your knees as much as you have to, drop the chin, get a nice stretch through your back. We are gonna do our boat poses real quick. Same as we always do, just taking it from a little different position, you are going to be leaning back right here. Once you're here, let's pull one side back so you can add a little bit of a twist, use your core, bring it to center, switch sides. There's your little twist as you pull back return to center. So I'm only doing the half. If you wanna open up all the way, go for it. I'm keeping mine halfway today. It's just that little pull and center. Four more here. There's your four and your three. It's your two. Finish this one and give yourself a nice stretch. Maybe it's butterfly, bound angle, whatever works for you. Give yourself a big stretch right here. Bring yourself up. Now we're gonna start stretching everything out with the foam roller. I'm gonna start with the calves. We're gonna move to the hamstrings and then to the glutes. It is up to you. I'm gonna do both my legs together for time sake. Lower legs is that rolling forward back. Let me go this way so you can see. So you're gonna be rolling if you need to go down on your forearms. And right here, now our toes can be up, but if it's really the outer calves that hurt or the inner change, the positioning of your feet. So sometimes if we tend to walk with our toes in more, you're gonna feel it in different places. Get that nice. And whenever you find a sweet spot, kind of hold it, let it go. 
We always roll slow, 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 so you can take your time, enjoy the full movement. Now this is similar to a massage. I mentioned that because drink water today. Get hydrated, get hydrated, get hydrated. Finish the roll and we're gonna move up to our hamstring. One or both at a time. So you might like to do one hamstring at a time. You might like to do both. It just depends how your hamstrings are. And then just like you did with your lower leg, you might wanna bring your toes in and out, catch the whole section. Finish your rolling out here. Now we're gonna work on our glutes. Now we can only do one side at a time when it comes to glutes. You would pop your hips up on your roller. You kind of have to go off to the side. And then we're looking for those tender spots. They might be high up on your cheek. They might be in the center. All of us are different. So you're finding that spot where you can roll out wherever the most tender area is. We have the other side to go. Start shifting your hips over so you can get the other side. There is that little rolling wherever you need it most. A little bit longer on this side. And finish that. We are doing the IT band. That is coming to your side. Mine will probably be brief. Not a huge fan of this, but wherever it works for you, this is when you're rolling the outside of your thigh. And you're gonna take it wherever it works for you. We'll be here for about 30 more seconds. And take your time. Rolling is a slow motion movement. That was your time. We have the other side to go. Bring yourself over. Set yourself up. And then we hang out here. Uh, <laughs> and definitely I have one side that's just not as happy as the other. Oh, we have about, I don't know, 10 more seconds. And you can start taking it off the foam roller. We do have to catch our quadriceps. To do that, you're coming on the front side. Think of yourself coming into a low point. And you can take the front of your thighs on the foam roller. And then you're going to... 
Walk yourself forward on your forearms. And again, just like every other muscle group, if you find a tender spot, breathe for one thing, try to enjoy it and try to let it release. And you're right there. We can start bringing ourselves off the foam roller from the front side. I do want to take the foam roller under your back so we can stretch our hips out really good. You're coming on your back side. So just like we did earlier, your hips are going to be on the foam roller. Be careful when you get down. I'm using this to stretch out your hip flexor. So that means you would slide one leg out. Now try to keep your toes towards the ceiling so you really open up the front part. Big exhale so you can relax your rib cage in. Feel that stretch down the front of your hip, but it is also stretching your back. Keep that in mind. Slide this leg in, take the other leg out. And there's the stretch again. Try to relax into it, let the hip open. Now, if your hips are really open, mine are not, but if yours are, you could extend both your feet out. I'm not going there, but it might be good for you. From here, you can start sliding the foot in, and we're gonna roll down our foam roller so we can stretch the upper back. So you're gonna take the foam roller underneath your shoulder blades, take your hands behind your head, tuck your chin, and we're gonna roll our upper back area. Now, the reason I have you bring your elbows in is so you can get your shoulder blades out of the way as you roll the back. And then you can kind of take it off to one side, try to catch your lats. So I'm going to kind of go off to the side so I can catch my lats on one side. We do a lot of lat work in class. Every time we do rows, we're really working this. So try to release it. We're gonna take this off to the other side. And again, I kind of have my elbow coming in so my shoulder blade is out of the way and I can really just stretch, get that stretch through the back. We also are going to do our neck using the foam roller. Bring yourself, your butt can come down. Roll your foam roller up so it's underneath your head. And you're gonna feel the skull bones. And then take a little head turn to one direction. Head turn to the other. So give yourself a stretch. Maybe you need to linger on one side or the other side. Now remember, this is a massage. Little discomfort sometimes, but no pain. And from here, we're gonna bring ourselves up into a seated position, however you wanna get there. I am taking it off to my side, bring myself up. I'm also going to sit on my foam roller, but feel free to sit on your block or choose whatever position works for you. It's just about getting our hips lifted. 
right here, sit up nice and tall. I want to add the hand behind your back. I like to take this stretch. It's a go-to stretch, great for our neck, our shoulders, our chest. Lift the head, relax that arm, take the other arm behind. And now you drop the ear. Feel the stretch. Lift the head. Now I want you to take your kind of look diagonal, drop your chin. And if you want to add a little more with your hand, we're catching a little different area of your neck. And then you lift your head, turn. So think little diagonal, drop the chin. And then you add a little bit extra. Lift it up. Press your palms together. I'm going to stretch our wrists out real quick. Palms pressed together. You're going to flip them down so you can stretch it in the other direction. And you clasp your hands. Take some wrist circles, figure eights, whatever feels good. Loosen it up. Drop your arms by your side. Take a big shoulder roll. Roll your shoulders. Right arm is going up. I want you to stretch out this side real quick. And here comes the other side. Feel that big stretch. Take it up and over. Arms come down. Here is your big inhale. Reach up. Take your inhale. Blow it out. Exhale. Two more times. Feel the inhale. Bring it all the way up. Exhale, blow it out. And one more time, big inhale. Exhale, blow it out. And thank you all very much. Drink some water because we did the foam rolling.